Hi, I'm Tom Scarpello of Revology Cars, and this is car number 93, a 1966 Shelby GT350 convertible in Porsche jet black metallic with Porsche black Napa leather interior. Today I'm going to show you around this car and take you for a drive. Let's get started. Okay, 66 Shelby GT350 convertible. This is two out of 12 that we will produce. This is a limited run model. We decided to try something different and we're only gonna build 12 of these. Now this car originally was not a production Shelby. There were only four built back in 1966. They weren't available to the general public. It was a study, it was something Shelby was looking at doing, offering a convertible model. At the front of the 66 Shelby, you've got the Shelby grill with the horse and tri bar logo out at the far left hand side of the grill. The headlights for the Revology Shelby are LED. The hood is fiberglass. This car is equipped with the optional quick latch. This car does not have the optional Le Mans stripes. The painted stripes were actually an option back in 1966. They were either installed at the factory uh, or at the dealer and then a certain number of cars didn't have that option at all and this client chose not to have the painted Le Mans stripes added. At the side of the car, the client chose the uh, silver stripe, so there was not a silver side stripe available. This is a custom vinyl that we, uh, we did for this build um, to match the contrast stitching on the interior, which is a really sharp uh, execution, I think. The client chose the Magnum 500 wheels. A lot of the Shelby's went out with Magnum 500 wheels, in particular the, um, the Hertz model. At the back of the car, you've got the Shelby GT350 fuel cap, the GT350 badge on the tail lamp panel. The Shelby's were all equipped with the standard valance with the exhaust that exited under the valance. It's a turned down tip. All right, so the interior is a black Porsche Napa leather. We use perforated leather for the door panel inserts and for the seat inserts. And this client chose the silver contrast stitching, which really, really looks sharp. Client also chose the walnut uh, veneer, and so this is a laser cut walnut. So this car is equipped with our JL Audio remote controller. This is a feature that I introduced in the video for Car 71. Um, since then, we've modified a few things. This uh, unit comes with a, an amp. It's a four channel class D amp. And then we've got programmed settings for the equalizer. So what you can do is click through the different equalizer settings, uh, depending on the type of music that you're playing. So the blue's pretty good for Bush. I can put some jazz on maybe. So I think the purple is good for jazz. The green's pretty good for jazz. Although the blue's pretty good too. Anyway, got a lot of different choices for equalization there. All right, so let's go for a ride. Oops. Not cool. So one of the things that people ask about is um, ride quality, because there is, seems to be kind of a, um, an assumption in the aftermarket that, you know, people want really stiff ride, you know, that performance somehow equals stiff ride, stiff suspension, and it's uncomfortable. Well, if you're driving, you know, if you're building a track car, sure. You know, we're not building track cars. We, we, we do have an R-Spec car that's designed for the track, but even that car has a, you know, a decent ride. You know, we're designing a car that is a high-performance car that is used on the street. So you've got to have good handling and braking and steering, but you've also got to have, you know, a decent ride that can have enough that that the chassis has enough compliance to soak up bumps and uh, imperfections in the road surface. It doesn't beat you to death. We've done a lot of work 
to ensure that the suspension has enough compliance, still stiff enough, you know, for really good handling, but enough compliance that you got good ride quality. So it's a really good balance and it results in a car that you can drive every day and over a variety of surfaces that you normally encounter, you know, even if you live someplace like Michigan that has notoriously bad roads or in the Northeast, as far as the philosophy goes about how to how to set up a car, the, the driving dynamics of a car, you know, I personally I I'm a road racer, I'm not a drag racer, um, so I like cars that turn and stop, handle well, and uh, that's how our cars are set up. They're not just straight line cars. I mean they perform well in a straight line, but you know, they're a lot more multifaceted. They're also just really pleasant to ride in and drive and just comfortable. Getting that balance right is really important and really difficult. But when you get it, it just feels great. <laughs>